This is recreational players' nightmare. <laughs> this is what amateur poker players absolutely can't handle. Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another stream here on the Poker Simple channel. Thanks so much for joining me on this beautiful Sunday afternoon. Very excited for the day today, you guys. Oh, it's gonna be a good one. We've got a bunch of big tournaments going on as it's Sunday on Party Poker today. The main bay is gonna be a brand new tournament uh, called The Grand. It is a 200,000 guarantee phase event that runs throughout the week. $1,000 buy-in to buy in directly to the final phase, or you can get in through a 109 phase. I'm gonna try and get in via this cheaper phase, right? Uh, so hopefully we can make it through for 109 bucks with a nice stack, but if not, we will buy in directly for a thousand bucks and play the first ever event. Uh, so really excited about that. Table two, we're gonna get this 109 grand. So this is one of the phase opportunities, right? And you take your stack through to, to the next phase. So we're gonna put in orange. Anyways, we're starting with 20 blinds here, uh, sort of early days. Day two of this is of course today as well. So uh, we could be playing that. Soon, we'll see. Call it eight six. Pair and a straight draw. Probably just gonna check raise. Definitely against the big sizing, we're gonna check raise here. Uh, yeah, sometimes they have a nine or they have an over pair or something, but we have pretty decent equity, right? We can hit an eight or a six to make two pair, three of a kind, or a seven to make a straight. And then sometimes, most of the time actually, I would say, we just hit the best hand right now. Uh, they do have a nine, but we make a straight and we're happy about it. Uh, three bit to 40,000 here. Should we change up what felt color we use for phase? But we could hit this deep, deep purple, purple for phase. What do you guys think? I think it's better than black. Let's go for the deep purple for phase events, you know? You take your stack through to the next tournament. I feel like we need something to differentiate it than over other things, you know? So we're gonna go from now on, instead of black for phase, we're going deep purple and satellite will be orange. It is decreed and it is official. <laughs> we're all in with the aces against kings. How unlucky can Andrej get? I mean, honestly, how unlucky can you get, man? Uh, Jax here. You know, three bet less than all in with the Jax. Which is on the edge, you know? Like, we're shoving eights. We're shoving sevens. We're definitely three betting aces and kings. Less than all in. Is actually about getting physical reads, giving an insight into the psychology of a person at the moment. You know, it, it is a part of live poker for sure, right? But when you're not playing live poker, it doesn't make the game not poker. It doesn't, you know, take away like a large factor of what determines decisions. So yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a, a good excuse for a professional to say, ah, I can't get reads, therefore I'm not successful. I think they're making excuses for lacking in other areas generally. Uh, reshove queen 10. Calling is an option too, but I think reshove is good. They're just going to open so wide given the uh, bubble of this tournament. I think queen 10 is good. If we get caught again, it's like fine. So open ace three, full to a gem from June and then call Simeon. Of course, they have six blinds here. So that is fine. We get a call and jack deuce deuce on the flop. I think mostly bet here. I'm going to bet two thirds of the time. Check a third of the time. And we'll go for a small bet. Check raise. I mean, basically all in here. Definitely a fold now. It doesn't leave them options to really check raise bluff very much. And if they do, they're risking everything, right? Like when we have a jack or a deuce or like a pair, we're not folding and they're putting their, their tournament life on the line. So we made it through chat. Uh, we're going to three bet here with ace king to 91,000. Ace king against tens. In the 1k, we don't make it happen. Let's three bet here, ace 10 off. I think just bet call here, actually. Um, I mean, it's a three bet pot, but they're not gonna expect us to oversee bet this, I don't think. If they check raise, we're priced in, so. I mean, checking back allows them to really bluff turns. We just bet, and probably shove turn now, though, I think. With the draw, with the ace high, targeting like 9x, 8x, targeting small pairs, see what happens. Wow. Look at this, dude. Holy smokes. Raise from Timothy. We three bet aces this time, not slow playing. We get a four bet from Cedric, and I guess I'm all in. Wow. We have doubled up chat. 1.9 million in the 1K. Raise on the flop in the 1K, or pre-flop in the 1K. Get a call from Rodrigo. Check back on the flop with bottom pair and a gut shot. I think we're okay. They bet really big on the turn. Definitely a call though. And go to the river. We have a straight. Good. Don't have jack nine. I may cry, but everything else is fine. <laughs> you know? 
That's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for the small bet. Call the check raise. We make the nut flush. Now it is a paired board worth noting, so I don't think it's gonna be a raising situation for us. Just a call, call here, uh, and then call the river. And that they have a few full houses. Get a call, king, queen, deuce on the flop. Uh, I think it's good to check some kings. Do we want to check king nine or like king five suited? Uh, I'm going to bet, especially being so deep. I'm just going to bet here, I think is fine. And there's a chance I should just pure C bet given how deep we are actually. Nah, probably not. This is such a big pot. Come on, let's go. Holy smokes, dude, that's a massive pot. Open up 5-6 suited. I mean, it's like on the edge because we have a reshove stack here. And these two could shove as well. You know, like queen-jack suited is just going to be a rip here. Uh, and like sevens and stuff like that. And so it's not super fun. But we're going to keep the aggression up. Go for the raise anyways. Get a call from Matthew. Queen-8-7 with one diamond here. What a turn. That's very good. I'm not sure what I want to do on this flop. Like, it just really sucks if we bet and get raised or jammed on. You know, it totally blows. We're willing to call in on this river. Uh, they could have a flush, but... Oh, we busted. I get it. Or did we make day two? Uh, we made day two. I got it. We made day two of this 105, but you're not in the money. So, we'll see. Three-bit call is okay. I mean, calling the button is an option too. But I, I'm just gonna go for the three-bit call here. We flopped the nizzies. Not actually the nuts, but close enough, dude. I mean, if you have five, six, I'll throw you a party. They're pretty small here. No six. Come on, let's go. And kings. Run it, chat. Run it. No, take it back. Don't run it. Oh, rip, man. All right, that sucks. That sucks to see. Open, get three bet from Thomas. Uh, I think four bet with kings is the play. If you're going to slow play, slow play aces. And also... Going post-flop and being out of position post-flop and with our stack 20 away from the money bubble here, that's all of those things are advantage, Thomas, right? Out of position, money bubble, has us covered. I think 4-bet, straightforward with the kings is the way to go. All right, take it down. Ace-10 suit is pretty good, though. Ready to run with this one, Lexi, if you want to do it. And I'm going to be watching it, and I'm going to be paying for it, and they earned my money. All the marketing they've done has earned my money. I'm happy to pay them. I hope they enjoy it. Each of them are getting, like, probably 20 bucks from me. Enjoy it, boys. Well done. I want to see what happens. They've got it. It's not a sham. No one's getting taken advantage of. We all know what the deal is, what the score is. Logan is a YouTuber that has boxed a lot for two years. I mean, uh, that's it. That's it, man. I didn't get a notification. No, Spud, what's up, man? How are you? I hope you're having a great day today. We've got a, a good stack here, Spud. We are bubble felt official. Best boxer ever, this Muhammad Ali man. Yeah, so I don't know who the best boxer in the world is. Like, I'm not here to argue. I don't know the history of boxing very well. I take issue with you calling it a con, though, because there's nothing con about it. Everyone knows who these two are, right? They know what they do in their life. They know what the price is. It's not like, oh, you're going to get to see the best boxing match of all time. They're saying, like, no, I'm a YouTuber fighting one of the best. Are You, you want to watch? The answer is yes. There's no con there. There's not, and No one's being conned, right? <laughs> no one is being conned here. We're going to fold the king deuce. In. Jack 10, we reshove. Call by Ace King, unfortunately. But we can just win here. We can just win it. Oh, no. What a brick. Uh, we're going to call here with knives. Like that, as this is an easy call. Playing very controlled as opposed to like, oh, yeah, man, I went bogey, bogey, bogey. Then I had a 12. Then I went bogey, bogey. Like avoid those strategical mistakes because often it's people going for things when they don't need to. It's gonna shave, save them a shot when it works out perfectly and when it doesn't, it costs them five. Five suited, we are going to play. The question is how here? I don't three bet much from the big blind at all and it's something I need to start doing more. I also feel like this hand, when called, it's not the end of the world post flop. We flop a flush draw, our hand's fine. We cover our opponent 
by several million. If we lose an all in, we're alive and okay and still likely cashing the tournaments. And they're gonna feel the payout pressure here. And then also another factor is like probably not gonna give us credit for three bidding a ton of the big blind. So all of that put together, I feel like we have a decent spot to try and make a move here. But maybe they just have a good hand and they go for it. Or maybe they sniff it out and they go for it with a bluff. I mean, that's all possible. We're on the bubble of this 33 mini 300 as well. 275 left, 231 pay. We're in 98th position. Pretty good spot. Here's an all-in. Reiner Kempe against Gabriel D. We are on the pure bubble now, I think, as we're waiting on this queen 10 of diamonds. That's a royal flush draw. Let's gamble, my friends. You want to do this? Let's do this. I'm ready for it. <laughs> Even on the bubble-ish, we can go all the way, my friend, if you want. We make a flush. We are going to bet uh, really small here. I mean, leave them the opportunity to check raise sometimes and then also make it really hard for them to fold a pair of kings or something, you know? Okay. And there we go, chat. Beautiful, dude. 3.4 million. All right, we're on the pure bubble here. We have jacks in the 1K. This is a moment, dude. The pure bubble with Jack Jack chat. This is recreational players' nightmare. <laughs> this is what amateur poker players absolutely can't handle. Uh, we start with the call against pads. We don't want to go for the three-bit call all in, although it would pick up chips. I think it's going to lose us money because of the bubble. We start with the call and play it like pretty straightforward, you know? And we have two choices. We can flat and then play flops, basically. Or we can back raise over the top. And I think call is better. Get away on ace high boards for sure. Face difficult spots on king and queen high boards. But I think call and, and go to a flop. Very good flop. And don't fold here, I think. If we bubble, I mean, it's fine. But their range is going to be really weak here in general, I think. We should call. Call and fold on an ace turn. King and queen is tough. <laughs> No, no, dude. Well, we fold now uh, to the barrel. It can still be a bluff sometimes. It's going to be random stuff, but some of the hands that we're squeezing pre-flop have now improved. Uh, we can't call off, especially on the bubble. We are in the money of this one. We fold. We shove on the bubble. We can play really aggressive here with the bubble. And if they call and we lose, we're still alive and like likely still going to catch the tournament. But we can put all the pressure on, you know? $31 bounty. We can get it. We raise ace four. Call from Drake's 90. And I think we want to bet. We wouldn't normally, but getting protection with the $31 bonus in the pot makes sense to me. We've got 56 in bounties, 32 cashed. Another 31 in play here. We're just going to see bet with our top pair. Also expect, like, decent aces to three bet already. So they don't have ace 10 or better. Moondog definitely doesn't. Ooh. 8-5, 2 pair. That's uh, very unlucky for us. We raise to 245. Blinds are up. And we forward all in with Ace-King against Drake's 90 in the 33. Mini 300. We're flipping, chat. Big flip here. That's a good start for 4 million chips. Puts us on the first page of the leaderboard, I think. We open up Kings in the 33. And Ola Shemian's all in as well, by the way. I think we go for a check raise here, and we check raise here, like I said. Okay, let's run it, bro. Big, big pot here. Whoo! This is good, man. This is legit. It's going to be over 5K for the win here in this 33. All right, new hands. Folding. Given the shorter stacks, not at the money yet. All in for nine blinds with a 1687 bounty, which isn't a big deal, but I think it's enough to call. Fold to Drake, but call here. The fours. And like I said, I think we have to fold because of the bubble. Uh, it's a huge mistake to bust now. So yeah, I fold. We are behind. We need a four. Bam. We've got a bubble and two in the money. Ace, Jack, King, seven. Is it over? Is it over? This is the bubble done? It's done, chat. GG to Tom, Redfeld hype confirmed. We are in the money of the first ever 1K grand. Great bluff, we've made it. This bubble is killing me, me too, but we've made it. We're in an okay spot now, I'd say. 26 of 40 in this beautiful 1K. We are also 11 of 154. First place will be over 5,000 with bounties in this $33 mini 300. So that's exciting and it's looking like a good Sunday, but who knows? 
Who knows? Race call, squeeze, uh, reshove here is fine. We might be getting owned by a slow play, but probably not. Probably okay. Oh no! Nines with the call for everything! Oh, bro. It was looking good. No longer. Uh, actually, not at all in limp here. Limp to limp jam. It just plays so well post flop. So, if we're jamming all of our suited aces, we have some problems, I think. Go for bet when we flop the the flush. Pretty nice flop, right? Get a call, turns a nine. We're going to keep betting. And we're going to go all in on the river here. All right, Drakes. Give us a call here, man. We are losing people left, right, and center, dude. We're down to 37 as we don't get action there. We are down to 37 now, chat. Here's another all in. Alex Sege against Joshua. That's a straight for Alex Sege. Wow. Call here, Ace Deuce against the shove from Sick Boy, who we played with in a bunch of tournaments yesterday, I think. We have not done well in this one. King 10 of diamonds here. Beautiful hands. Um, Reshove, I think. It's good. Good hand. We're going to be all in. Hopefully, we get a fold. Let's see what happens. We are flipping against nines. Ooh, that's going to be it, man. GG guys, King 10 against nines, can't win the flip. 2287 is our cash in the grand. We got in for 109 bucks, so that's a good result for us, but uh, obviously disappointing outcome. And good luck, everyone still playing in that tournament. We're also all in here with Ace 8 in the mini 300. Disappointing outcome, man. Damn. And we're all in. Look at that. All in with the Ace Queen. This is unlucky for us, Ace. Well, chat, it all came to a close. I guess I did want to watch the hockey at the end of it all. $121 cash there. Good run today. I mean, I think an interesting day. The 1K was a fun tournament. We played some interesting hands. Fell a little bit short. Like I said, lost a little bit on the day, but nothing crazy. And we gave it a good effort. I hope you guys loved the stream. If you did, please make sure to hit the follow button and come back again. We'll be streaming a bunch uh, over the summer and into the future, man. We're almost seven years into this thing, so... Uh, big thanks, everyone. Appreciate all your support today. I'm going to host someone else in the listing, but until next time, we'll see you later, and goodbye.